continue on the multiple cubic gates. So I just say that I want to review one more time on this control knot. Control knot gate and entanglement. So last time we say, in a, this two cubic gates, the control knot is also called exclusive or what it does is what? When you look at how it transforms the basis state, right? We have two qubits, right? So what are the basis state? It's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, just the tensor product, right? The first qubit, we call it the control bit. The second qubit, we call it the target bit. Whenever the control bit is 1, this gate is going to negate the second qubit, right? When it is 0, it does nothing. When it is 1, we negate it. So 0, 0, still 0, 0, 0, 1, still 0, 1, because this 0 is 0. The first, the control qubit is zero. But when the control qubit is one, it becomes one zero becomes one one, one one becomes one zero. And we can write it in this way. Basically, it says that the first qubit will do nothing. For the second qubit, it will be the it will be the exclusive or between A and B. That's why it's called exclusive or gate. In exclusive or operation is that when A which is the control qubit is zero. Anything exclusive zero, exclusive or zero is itself, right? Zero exclusive one is one, zero exclusive zero is zero. But if you A is one, then this becomes the negation, right? So you can go back to check uh, what is the meaning of exclusive or if you forgot. But basically this is the control not gate. And this is the uh, matrix, so you can uh, Imagine if I have alpha, beta, gamma, delta, y, I have four entries because I have two qubits, right? So this corresponds to 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, yeah? After this exclusive or gate, what do I get? Well, the alpha, 0, 0, and beta will not change. But then 1, 0, and 1, 1 is going to swap, yeah? And this is true if you try to check with the matrix multiplication. Okay, so this is control not gate. Control not gate is very important because it can help us to create entanglement. But later in some quantum circuit, we say that we will see that it's difficult to implement the control not gate in hardware. We will ask use other gates, which we will introduce later. For example, the I swap gate. Okay. Um, but anyway, let's see how it create entanglement. For example, this side, right? Last time I said it is alpha zero zero beta one zero. This is not entangled, right? For example, because uh, uh, I can uh, write it as alpha zero plus beta one tensor product zero, right? I factorize the second qubit out. You remember? This is a, uh, you can say that this side is has two components, is alpha zero zero, alpha component of zero zero of this bigger space, beta components of one zero of this bigger space. Or you can say that this is just the first qubit, it has alpha components of zero, beta component at one, and a tensor product with the zero component of the, of the zero basis in the second state. They are equivalent. So I can separate two qubits. Right? And that's why this is not entangled. I can describe them separately. Right? Okay. However, if I try to apply the control not gate or exclusive or gate to it, I am going to apply to here, right? It becomes alpha exclusive or zero zero plus beta exclusive or one zero, right? Because again, it is linear, right? Quantum mechanics is linear. All these gates are linear. It's linear algebra, right? Exclusive zero zero is what? Exclusive or zero zero. You can check the table or just based on definition. First qubit is zero, do nothing. So it's still zero zero. But for one zero, first qubit is one, then I need to negate the second qubit, it becomes one one. Now this is an entangled state. Because you find that you cannot factorize it into the products, the tensor products of two qubits. They're entangled with each other. Okay, now we can try to create entangled circuit uh, in uh, this sense. 
For example, I can start with a zero state. I have two qubits. And then I will apply a Hadama gate to the lower qubit in this circuit. And then apply the control knot gate. To it right so sorry i forgot to mention the symbol about control knot gate right so it is like this is like the knot gate and then you have a control here and you need to be careful about the drawing some people draw in opposite right because it depends on which qubit you are controlling so when i draw this i say that this qubit is the control qubit and this qubit is the target qubit okay so similarly what i'm saying that is this the the bottom one is the control qubit qubit also i need to be clear i want to say the bottom one is the most significant bit the lower one is the least significant bit what does it mean because if i have two qubit i can write it as a b right the first one is the most significant the last one is the least significant. This is just like what, what we do in the digital logic, right? We have the left one are the more significant, the right ones are the least more uh, less significant. So let's see how you create an entanglement. First of all, how do I uh, do the calc uh, find out what's going on? The first stage is this. I'm going to write this stage as 0, 0 at this point. Why? Because this is just a tensor product of 0, 0. Very simple, right? Because the most significant bit is 0, the least significant bit is, so this is 0, 0. In that case, I can also write in the matrix form, it is 1, 0, 0, 0, because again, I have one component of 0, 0, 0 component of 0, 1, one com zero components of one zero and zero components of one one that's okay yeah how about when we reach hadama gate well when we reach hadama gate although we don't only have the hadama gates applied to the first qubit in principle we can say that you also have an identity gates applied to the second qubit so this one all together is just equal to the Hadama gate tensor product, the identity gate. Remember how we do the tensor products we said earlier, right? Your given Hadama gate is this. If you forgot, just check it. And then the identity gate is this, right? And what do we do? We just do the permutation, multiplication, right? So one times one, zero zero one right all i need to do is one times one one times zero one times zero one times one then i get this whole block similarly i do the the other three block this one times the whole thing is just one zero zero one right same for the lower left corner but then for the lower right corner it becomes negative one negative one here okay so what is the matrix here uh, what is the, I mean, the vector when you reach this point? What is the vector? Well, then we can say at this point, right? It is just equal to the Hadama gate times the zero, zero, because this is the input from left to right times this, uh, whole structure right so this is equal to one over square root two one zero one zero zero one zero one one zero negative one zero zero one negative zero negative one the whole thing hard market times identity gate identity gate but the input is one zero 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 what is this now when you do the matrix multiplication you do this one times this one right one times one plus zero times zero plus one times zero plus zero times zero this is will be the first element but you only have one here right so basically just copy the whole column so this gives us one over square root two one zero one zero what does it mean if we try to write this down as the 
uh, uh, instead of the matrix form, just write in bracket form. It becomes 1 over square root 0, 0 plus 1, 0. Right? Because this one is 0, 0, this is 0, 1, this is 1, 0, this is 0, 0. I have this component. Okay? And then we will go through the last stage. C not gate. Right? C not operates on this one. Okay? But now we actually did that already. We are doing C not gates exclusive or operate on 0, 0, 1, 1, except that alpha, beta are 1 over square root 2. Right? So, and then you just see previous lines. When the C log gate operates on 0, 0, it gives us 0, 0. When it operates on 1, 0, the controlling qubit is 1, so the next one needs to be 1, 1. Right? So with this, I have successfully created an entangled state by starting with the initial vector of 0. Now, this is very important. In it, we or in all quantum computer, we usually want to initialize the circuit at zero state, at the ground state. That's why initialization is a very critical critical aspect in quantum computer. Sometimes it takes a very long time to initialize the circuit, and that will not be good. So initialization is something we are going to discuss uh, a lot in the future. Okay. So I hope that at this point, you know that uh, initialization is important and also how to uh, do the tensor product of different gates and um, create the uh, entanglement, okay? Now, actually, I'm going to skip this slide because uh, I already done that uh, uh, here with the matrix. I did not follow my cheat sheet. Actually, originally I want to do some only bracket at the beginning. Maybe I can use the bracket as the homework, right? But here I show you the matrix already. Okay. Okay, so when we talk about entanglement, as I said earlier, it is all about uh, that you cannot express it's into two, the tensor product of two subspace. And here I want to just introduce four states, which we call the Bell states. They are very important. We already created one of them. And that is this one. This is the uh, phi plus, right? It also have another four states. Now, for a 2D, for a two-dimensional, um, or uh, two qubit state. We know that you can form a, you can have a basis, right? Uh, one, uh, or, or let me call it a regular basis as zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, right? This is just a chip field basis because you just form it as the tensor product from the uh, basis states of the lower qubit. In matrix form, this is just 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1, right? But however, it is more convenient in some cases to actually use the bell states. So this is another example of change of basis. Remember in the one cubic case, right? Let me go back again. We uh, talk about the changing of basis between zero, one and plus minus. Well, plus minus is a linear superposition of zero, one. This is another example of change basis where uh, we use either the regular basis. This might not be the right name. I don't know how to call it, right? But this is the Bell state basis they are also change of basis. So for any two-dimensional vector or state, you can represent as a linear combination of this or a linear combination of this. 
Okay, the special thing about the bell states is that for they cannot be uh, decomposed into a tensor product of two lower space uh, uh, vector. 